See this outfit? This mm. is the height. It's made by pomegranates? No. This, this is the high priest outfit. And, and if you look here on the bottom of his thing that goes around here, he has bells and, and pomegranates right there. And so they would have, on the high priest, he's like, he would have this outfit and he'd wear this and those bells everywhere he would go. With, Ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling. And so no matter where he was, that everybody would would know where the priest was. Yeah. She's not supposed to be doing it. Hannah, uh -huh. calm down. It's okay. But look, if you look you close, you can see a bell, pomegranate, look. bell, mm -hmm. pomegranate. Look real close up to there. Grab the book and look at it. Yeah, so uh, the priest's job is remember. So, so all of these things that he wears is to, to let him remember that when he would make an atonement for everybody's sins. Remember last time we talked about eating the bread and all that? Well, now we're going to talk about the, the blood and the pomegranate he, and the priest he makes us remember and, and so he has to always remember before he judges anybody or cuts anybody or kills anybody he has to remember all these things so that's why he has all this suit is to bring back to his remembrance to remind him so first thing we got to do is we got to pierce it we got to poke it in and cut it open right That open. Nice. Okay, this one. Do we get to do ourselves? Yeah, each one can do your own. What do we do if I cut myself? <laughs> Try not to cut yourself. Then you cut yourself. So let's see, we're going to pierce it kind of. Why do you have to pierce it? Remember. <laughs> so it's going to be your cut. Okay. Remember, this white stuff is very, very bitter. It's so don't eat it? You don't eat the white part. You want to just eat the seed, the red seeds. So you got to pick all that out of there. Yeah. And remember that the bitter part, in, in the Bible, it has the word wormwood. And wormwood? You, yeah, and, and the worm, wormwood means bitterness. So if you want to know what... Wormwood means you, you you can eat that white part and, and that was stand up if you need to. Yeah, stand up. Yeah. 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 Right into it and go down. Mm -hmm. right, this one. Yeah. There we go. And then, and then can I start cutting up here yeah. like Uncle did? Yeah, get it in the group there. Are you holding it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go use this hand and push down. See, you got to use this hand. Yeah. Yeah. Get it in the hole in the groove first. Like right there? Yeah, there. Now push down on this end. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. <laughs> there, that was just the hard part. Ooh, the holes are so... Ugh. There is no holes, no, so it. don't think of it being holes, okay? Uh. See, that white part's real bitter, though. And that's the thing, you gotta, like, in life, you gotta pick through all the bitter stuff. And the sorrows and the pains, and people call you names, or 
things like that. That's like the eating the white part. Go ahead, take a bite of that white part. No. Why? It's bitter. <laughs> right? So that's the thing. Sometimes like drugs okay, and alcohol you like make you bitter. Right? You don't want that. Or you could do it this way. Oh, that's Pomegranates are fun to cut. Yeah, they're kind of fun, huh? They're very sweet and good. I don't like sweet. I like sour. Well, eat that white part. No! I like bitter. I hate bitter. Mm -hmm. So wait, do you eat the seeds? Yeah, pick them out and you... Just gotta get away from the white. Yeah, you gotta pick all the bitterness out of it. Can I just take all the seeds out? Of this plate is really small. Yeah, I know. There you go. Just See how they're all bloody and they look like blood and juice? <laughs> oh, oh my god, that white part. Oh, that's killing me. Oh, oh my god, that looks like it's yeah. like really good tasting. Oh, Eat it. It is, they are really sweet. See, and that's I don't like, remember pomegranates being sweet. It's like the They're Bible. Small. I can hardly taste it. If you so, put a whole bunch of them in your mouth, it's cool. So you can eat the seeds though, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. It's a part of the food. Yeah. Ow. This hurts. Let me do this one. No. Can you eat the skin part? No. Yeah. Just the seeds. It's bitter. <laughs> so yeah, if you get it in your mouth or whatever, that's fine, but... But this doesn't stain your hair, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be Although, nice. Um, yes. If you wanted to dye your hair, red, <laughs> you could use you pomegranates. Could use that. Yes. Wow. And but you have to use a lot of them. Even like if you wanted to tie dye a shirt. Oh, you know, nice. you can that'd be cool. Not when I see her as a kid. So wait, is this the white stuff that you're talking about? That's bitter. Yes. Yeah, and that's like. Bad things in life, we gotta pick through the bitter stuff. Can I have two plates, please? Get to the sweet yeah. part, right? Now I got it in you my eye. Break it. Break it open. Yeah, break that's good. And then I wanna put all the seeds on one plate and then. And then you could grab them all and put them in your mouth and then that's like. I can't grab it. I need like a spoon. I need a spoon. Because I like, you use your yeah. hand so that you get them dirty. Ow! But it's burning all my wounds. Oh, you need a little bit of assistance. <laughs> <laughs> They're like stuck in some places. And I don't have long enough nails to get them out. My long nail broke off. That's all sticky. Look how sticky your fingers get. No. She no. hates sticky. <laughs> well, keep going. You know I mean? I'm going. You gotta eat the whole thing. Yeah. You need to eat the whole thing. It's pretty good. This is like how Jesus, you know, we, we he gets broken open. Ew. And so many people can be saved. And, and look at these little seeds. These are all seeds. I'm only going to dry out my mouth. And each one of these seeds has to be replanted. Right? So when it's planted. In our bodies? Oh, no, in the ground. When it's planted Don't in the ground. I'll deal with it. It makes more. <gasps> more. That looks so good. It's going to be juicy. Mom, look how good that looks. Oh, wow, oh, the yeah. white part is so bitter. No, it's just the white part that's over like the seeds. It just mm. ugh, it creeps me out. Yeah, it's kind of like skin. No, oh, why? It tastes so like nothing. <laughs> I don't help. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, it is better. I can't. It's <laughs> tucked about the roof of my mouth. Makes your shirt purple. <laughs> Something the ceiling. I know, something is on me. Back in the old days, they used to see... probably squirting. I know. Back but my up. hands were still and I got water on me. Back in, the, back in the old days, they used to say that purple was uh, for Pretty, kings. Yeah. For kings and queens were purple. Uh, only, and it means royal. And it would have to be some kind of royal to wear it. Mm -hmm. But like people could wear like a stripe of it, but they couldn't wear like completely purple, because that means they would have to be royal. Right. Oh, and four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They could wear like a little purple, but that was it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so if it had another color yeah. on it, that means that they. It would be wouldn't. fine. Okay. But if it was just all purple, mm -hmm. then you have to be royal to wear it. Mm -hmm. That's why if you Does see on markers, see it gets in your eyes. I got it in my eye. It does stain, but could just like anything. Oh gosh! So how do you guys think <laughs> the priest could use these things to to remind us about Jesus? Blood. It's blood. Look it's at that. Blood. What else? What else? Oh, it hurts. Ask Emma. Um, what else? Uh, bodies. We, we find the best Ew. things in life wrapped in, in bitterness. Oh, it hurts. No, not really. <laughs> oh, we gotta find the good things. That's the not good a things thing. in life. The best things in, in life are found wrapped in, in bitterness. That means, you know, when, when life is real bitter, and you think you know, I need a napkin. Yeah, it's real <laughs> tough and, and, and everything's against you, you know, like all oh, odds are against you, your dreams feel impossible. That that's when oh that's God. where we find Jesus is mm -hmm. wrapped up in the middle of bitterness, in the middle of a storm. <laughs> I did the game. Does that mean that it's good in the middle? Someday, if one of your friends Someday. gets sick or something, you find Jesus. Sometimes he puts us in the middle so that we will focus back on him. Ooh, I went through the skin. You know what? You know how else this could be used. You know, Jesus says that once uh, the Holy Spirit comes and, and lights a fire in your heart. No. There's no heard. way that you know you could hide that light, like. Lighting a lamp, would, would we light a lamp and then put it underneath our bed? Yeah. So nobody could see the light, but no, we put it in the middle of the room. So what do we do? We're like breaking this open, and, and what do we see once the light, light is inside? Oh. What do we Goodness? See? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Goodness and awesomeness. But what do we have to do? We have to go through the bitterness? Pick the bitterness out of the way, right? Mm -hmm. wow. You know so where does God's joy come from? Bitterness. What? From our bitterness. In the middle of our bitterness, we find what? God's Good. joy. God's, yeah. God's joy. That's what I meant to say. Do you know what a bitterness would be How? in your it's life today? That. Like going to school and a bully being there. Yeah. You know, a person that kind of is an irritant. So wait, ask that question again. <laughs> so that would be like a bitterness in your life right now today. Would ha be having to deal with a bully or someone who's name calling or... Mm -hmm. It brings up a, not good feelings in your heart, right? Yeah, that It brings yeah. up bitterness in your heart. Yeah. So that would be an example of a bitterness. And how could you use God's word to work around that bitterness? We could pray. Yeah, praying. Yeah. Pray for her. Pray for them. 
Good. If you were lost in the desert, you had nothing to drink. Boy, you did eat one of these, you would be all of a sudden you'd be like, man, this is the world's greatest thing. Wait, can't like you that. eat cactus? Question mark. Like, can't you? Because there's Question water in cactus. Like, if you yeah, cook all the kernels, that's like a lot of water. Oh, oh, parts of it. Yeah. Could you like eat that or drink it? I mean, if you had to, you could. Because isn't that like sticky. okay water? Hey, are you guys sticky yet? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sticky. I don't like it. But I you know, what? look look at our shirts. Oh. Look at mine. I know. I'm clean. Kind what? of. Except for a few drops. You're See, supposed sometimes... to make it dirty. But I don't want to make it dirty because I don't need to wipe it all myself. I like licking my fingers, not wiping them. But if you wipe it on your shirt, then it'll look really pretty. But my fingers are more tastier than my shirt. Like your shirt then, because then you'll have it all over your shirt. These are really good in antioxidants too. What does that mean? Yeah. It's like a healing fruit. See, it cleans out your blood. Oh. See, this stuff is like the blood of Jesus, and look how it's all over us. Yeah. Gets out on us, and when God oh, sees us, all he can see is Jesus. So he sees that blood, and you know how why it's all sticky? Nope. Because that's how Jesus is. He sticks to you, and, and then you can't wash him off. It's not really sticky for mm -hmm. me. Oh, because your fingers are still moist. It's once it dries, oh, it gets it sticky. Oh, that makes sense. You know that song? What song? The duck song? No, that's a good one though. <laughs> that hey, one and the uh, ticket? No, it's a. Jesus song and it says he's um, living on the inside warm like a lion. <gasps> um, a like favorite song? Mm-hmm. That I haven't heard in like forever? Mm-hmm. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's it is sticky now on my face. Song. No, that's, uh, you're going to hear me roar. Oh, okay. It's called Lion. <laughs> that's, not say, that's not a Christian one, but, right, but the other one Well, is. it's about God. Yeah. No, he's talking thing. about a different, he was thinking of a different one. When, oh. when he lives in you, he will always have, like, a, you'll oh, always have a the fire. Oh, the You notice how no. you can only God. eat so much of this stuff. So, I mean, it's not like that. Notice how you can only eat so much of this stuff because it quenches your thirst. It like it's making my mouth dry. dry. Yeah. Well, have you tried it the way how I ate it? Look at all this. Because it makes mm -hmm. it real juicy and wet. <laughs> yeah. How do you eat it? By the handfuls. That's oh. what I'm doing. Yes, but it's not handful. Mm. Here you go. Oh. Yeah. See, so now Jesus is on the outside of us, and where else is Jesus? Inside. On the inside. On the inside as well. On the inside as well. So, so we have this little seed, right? That we spit out. And so that little seed is, is what? Like our faith. And so faith, Jesus goes inside of us and. Like a little seed, he's planted, and then he begins to grow, right? So pomegranates are just like God. They're it's just like they're teaching. Yeah. They're, they're teaching tools. So kind of like the bread was his. <coughs> Whenever anybody would hear the priest walking around, and, and he would be dingling and bingling and with his <laughs> bells, and everybody somebody would go up to the priest, and the priest was there to atone for their sins. So the people would go to the priest and. Tell them about their sins, and and really, the priest would always remind all the people that they only had one sin, and their sin was not believing God. So he would whip out the pomegranate, and he would start talking to the people, and he would remind them. 
that their only sin was not believing they were already God's children. That, that was their only sin. So, so he'd bring the pomegranate out and they would eat it and they'd have, and talk the story and, and all of a sudden they would remember that, that they had no sin. They had no sin. See, see they were white already. They what? were already pure white, but but because they didn't believe or they forgot, yeah. that they, they had to come and, and get covered in all the red, and all the stuff, and remind them that Jesus sticks to us. Like, like, I have nothing. Oh, I guess I do have some to wipe off. That's the whole point, Emma. Well, the rest of it's stuck on my fingers. It's like kind of a ritual that like they would do, Hannah. Yeah, looks like it's a school. In remembrance of him. So, when so if felt, you were, uh, sorry. No, go ahead. If you were gonna want to be an exorcist, <laughs> you would want to. You would want to know these things, because a lot of things with people who have exorcist problems. Have, have demons and devils, and, and those demons and devils don't believe that, that, that we have the same power as Jesus Christ. And so when we bring back the, to remembrance all these things, then the devils and the demons remember, mm -hmm. and, and they, they flee from us, they run from us. Can I wash my hands now? Oh, I have so much pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Cause it's not Are they my sticky? Shirt. Yeah, my face is very sticky. Right. Oh, I know I can do this. My fingers will stay. Well, if you wash your hands, it's like washing Jesus. Look at all mine. I have so many. Well, good thing we ate a bunch of them. Yeah. I'm gonna eat even more. <laughs> but you know what God says? God, did you know that God is the one in the Bible? God is the one who invented washing your hands. What? He did, because you know why? Because after the, eating the pomegranate, your hands get all sticky, and then they get in the dirt and the germs and all that. Oh. Yeah, and it's because God teaches the people that how to be clean that, that they were they were able to live long lives. Is that supposed to be a metaphor? Because if it is, then I get it. No, it's the truth. No, it's not a metaphor. It's well, the, that's it's right. the truth. God this said... This is a metaphor. Yeah, God said don't eat... Pork, no pigs. Did? Yeah. And, and did you know if you go to the doctor, the doctor is going to tell you that hey, don't be eating too much bacon. It gives what you the? cholesterol, heart uh, disease. That's good for you. It's yeah. bacon. Bacon? Not. Oh, well, yeah, it's real good for you. <laughs> not <laughs> too much. Not too much. No, bacon. What? Bacon's not good for you? I mean, sure, in some ways, but it's more grease than anything. Well, and it's, grease is yeah, not it's got good. a lot of bacon. Fat, fat, fat. Because pigs are really fat. Yeah, exactly. So bacon, it's bacon, cooked bacon is more mm. bad for you than it is healthy. But cooked pork is better than bacon. Yeah, but they're both bad for you. And even the doctor says they're bad for you. So when God no, told so all the people not to eat pork, he, he wasn't saying like, you know, hey, pork is, is evil. He was just saying, you know, hey, I love you and, and I don't want you to die of heart disease. Why so so when so grandma high? says antitoxin, what is that? That's something that cures what? Like heart disease. It goes oh. through and cleanses your blood of things. So. There's always a, an Grandma, answer and a remedy to all things. Wait, so cancer is because of blood, right? Sometimes? Cancer is... Uh, or is it the tissue? I can't remember which one it was. It's the tissue. Okay. Oh, That's where it is? The cancer well, could think, be a mass. It could be anything, really. It could okay. be in your blood. It's a, it it's a parasite a that's in your body that's forcing your body to feed it instead of your body. So it deprives your body of everything that it needs because it's sucking all the nutrients out of your body so it can be fed. But but while it's alive in you, it's actually killing you at the same time. You have some fun, Anna? Mm hmm Making a mess. Ooh, my shirt. My so hands me. look weird. Oh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. See, and that's 
Hey, you got royal blood in you. I got it's what? purple. Royal. Oh, I got it now. Royal blood. Oh. So I'm royal? Royalty. If, if, if our dad is the king. Oh, that makes so much sense. What are you? The queen. Alright, the princess, not the queen. It's a princess, but, but your promise is one day you will be the queen. You will Yay. get to sit on the throne. What is this cheese? Uh huh? Mama, what kind of cheese is this? Mm -hmm. um, deli cheese. That one stuff. So, what should we talk about next time? Did you guys see, all see the, the, the picture? Yeah. Of the guy? This is really sweet. Just like me. Yeah, just like you. <laughs> see, and, the, and on the guy's hat, he would put right there on his, on his forehead, holy to Yahweh, only to mm. our God. Yahweh, the word Yahweh. You said. I am. Yeah. So, so set apart for God. This is a long the video. Word only means set apart. All right. I want to keep eating this, but that's So you've been set saying. apart for God. And so all this, all this stuff is to Let remind us that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is that Blanca? <clears throat> Alright guys. Hold Should on, we guys. end with a prayer? Let's pray. Hold on, I need to get this messier. Do you guys know anybody that needs a prayer? Yeah. Mm. Uh, somewhere in my school. Okay. Who? Riley is her name. Riley. She's mean. There you go. That's what we're supposed to pray for our enemies. Okay, let's pray. My hands are really sticky. Well, you are getting pomegranates everywhere, so let's clean up. What's your friend's name? Riley. She's the opposite of my friend Ashley. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we all come to you today to say thank you, God, for everything you have done, for leading us to, to a place of wanting to seek out your wisdom, your knowledge, and all the things that you wanted to remind us of. And so we thank you for the pomegranate. We thank you for the outfit of, of the high priest to bring us to remembrance of how holy we are to you. We ask God that you would, would go into the heart and mind of Riley and Hannah's enemy. And, and you would open her heart and mind to, to see Hannah as being a favored friend that she would be blessed by Hannah because Hannah is a wonderful friend and she knows the difference between grouchy, negative feelings and, and happy, positive feelings. So we ask that you would allow Hannah to be a, a, a bright and shining, positive influence on all of her friends. And we ask that you would teach her teachers through her about grace, love, and mercy. We also ask, Father, that you would go into Emma and you would fill Emma with your spirit and your love and your mercy and you would guide her to the place you want her to be so she can be full of happiness, joy, and mercy. Let no enemies stand against her, but let all people who see her as being worthy to, to being a wonderful friend because we know Emma is a great blessing to all of us. And I ask you, God, to, to bless Davina, her work, and all those who come to her, 
seeking help, watching the, their dogs, or, or comfort of loving the things they care about. Yeah. So bless her with that because it's always a blessing to all of us around her. And we ask that you would bless Travis in his work and actually overwhelm him uh, in his work and with tons of, of blessings so, so that they have nothing to worry about except for just uh, the things that, that, that you have set in front of them to glorify them as they are always a blessing to us. So continue to bless them. And I ask God that you would have mercy on our nation and all the people in our nation. For we are all seeking you. We are all in a state of suffering. And we are all wondering just how much you, you do truly love us. And so we ask you, God, to manifest yourself in our presence always. In your holiest of all names we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <coughs> all right.